the reasonably amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. For the benefit of those who were fortunate enough to have not heard our earlier four mainstream episodes of Flash Gordon, Flash and Dale Arden were thrown onto the new planet Mungo. The two Americans were sent to the terribly gentrified prison city of the Hawkman. In the wildly unpopular Tournament of Death, Flash Gordon wins the unconquered kingdom of the caves and sets out to subdue his domain. We now follow Flash Gordon in his attempt to enhance the curb appeal of the kingdom of the cave. Friends, your colon might be due for a service. Have you ever been in a restaurant where it feels like there is such slow service you want to call a manager? <laughs> well, take it easy. What's mostly needed is to look at why your digestion is so upset. For your poor digestion, you need something that works after nature's own order fails. Try Hersey's little colon pill. Swallow the little brown pill when you're upset and feel headachey and irritable. Take Hersey's little colon pill for all the calamities in your duodenum. You see, each day nature normally produces about two pints of a digestive juice mentioned as far back as the Bible to help digest your food. If nature fails, your food may remain undigested for hours, days, or even months, leaving you headachey and irritable. Swallowing these brown sausage-shaped doughy pills with the trademark cracks in the surface can make your colon cheerful and happy again. Take Hersey's Little Lumpy Colon Pills. They increase the flow of this vital process quickly, often in as little as 30 minutes. This soon-to-be-approved artificial aid to counteract indigestion is Hersey's Little Colon Pill, and only a suggestion after nature's own order fails. Take Hersey's Little Colon Pills. Some may vary in brown color, texture, amount, and odor. Get them at any drugstore, only 25 cents a plop. Sponsors of the reasonably amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Now, having picked up a company of King Bolton's Hawkman, the huge rocket ship bearing Flash and Dale to their new kingdom heads for the yawning mouth of Kira, the wild and forbidding cave world, the veritable red light -like district of Mongo, if you will. Following Ming's map and instructions, Captain Thune steers a course for the stronghold of Zoo, the executive vice president of the caveman. The ship leaves the gloom of the first cave and enters another cave, colossal in size and brilliantly lighted. They get out of the rocket ship, realize the great danger they are about to face, go back, land the rocket ship first, and then get out this time. Well, Dale, we're here. I know, I'm standing right here. It's visual, bear with me, Dale. Oh! 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 What? What is it? Thanks for asking. Now you're getting this now. Look, Dale! Oh! What a huge cave, and look at all those little holes inside. Those must be the dwellings of my subjects. Now don't get a big head, Flash. Wait! Is all my kingdom like this? I've never been inside before, Your Majesty. Seriously, Captain Thune? You're giving the tour. Nobody has ever explored this strange underground world. Look, men are coming out of the holes of the cliffs. Some of them look a bit sheepish, even guilty. And yet mostly they are fierce-looking men. That powerful-looking red-headed giant must be their leader. We'll break the news to him, Your Majesty. Uh, him? Uh, the, the big one over there? Yes, the 12-foot giant, Your Majesty. Why you come? Huh? Eh? Eh? His Majesty, Flash, the ruler of these caves, demands... Okay, no, no, you don't, you don't need to keep calling me that in front of him, Thune. <laughs> Certainly. New absolute ruler of all the cave-dwelling people. Okay, well now, let's not be hasty. Let's, let's introduce ourselves to him first, Thune. Bend your knee, oh red-haired one. This is Mighty King Flash. No. <laughs> that's, that's not necessary, uh, Captain... <laughs> who you think you are? I'll tell you who he is. He's a captain. See? He's very important, too. It's not just me throwing my weight around here. It's, it's, look at him. This is Flash, the first ruling king of all the cave world, by order of Ming the Merciless. 
Emperor of Mondo. Who? Ming! Ming the Merciless, the Emperor of this world. We have Emperor? Yes, of course! You know Ming! Ming the Ruthless Tyrant who rules the planet Mongo! Oh! Ho, ho. Oh! What Mongo? What's a Mongo? Mongo is the planet you live on! Mongo is the name given to your world! I wouldn't name it Mongo! It is Mongo! It is an agreed upon name now! It's Mongo! Where you live! Sound like made up word! All words are made up! That's the thing about words! <clears throat> Look, you make up a word, then you agree together that it means something, right? Mongo is a made up word just like any other! When we meet about that. We didn't. It was decided a long time ago. It's Mongo. It's called Mongo. A made up name, yes, silly baby. But this is a dictatorship under an emperor called Ming. So good luck having some sort of retroactive cave community meeting about it at this point. The place ruled by the antagonistic Ming, the Merciless. What Merciless about him? What's merciless about Ming? Everything! Look, Flash is now your king! No, no king! Oh, I agree. An emperor is a bit much already, isn't it? You poor redheaded deer. Me crush! Me kill him! Oh, look! He's picking up that stone! Aww. That reminds me of your testicles, Aww. Flash! You really think they're that large? No, but they're just as dusty. <laughs> Drop that stone, actually. This is a ray pistol, which can dissolve you into pieces. Wait, Thun. I will not rule any man I can't beat in a superficially fair combat. I will fight you. Get up, human! No, I'm laying in wait like the devilish eel. What do you mean? Ow. Flash, you hit me. I'm sorry, Thune. You leaned over to check on me. I thought you were that enormous red-bearded devil. I am stronger than you. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, I wasn't ready for that, Flash. You stronger. You fastidious. You king. Thanks. <sighs> I'll make you my right-hand man. Why? What do you do with your right hand? <clears throat> I think we should run. It's that disgusting. No, but now that you mention it, he was strangely drawn to all the holes in the cliffs on the way here. No, run! Run for your life! He comes! I know. The Eater of Men! Leave Dale out of this. Well, what's that big lizard monster? Let's go, Dale! Run for your life! Quick! Give me my signal gun when that thing gets close enough. No, no, shoot him now, Flash! Good work, Your Majesty. You have blinded him. There it goes, there he goes. Blinded. I don't think you'll ever be bothered by him again. Well, it looks like you're the blind one, Flash. How could you not see the lizard was still attacking? Oh, there, I got him. I was merely toying with it, of course. Yeah. We know all about that, Mr. Right-Hand Man. Hey, you said you liked that. Yeah, context is a real important part of the enjoyment of the right hand and the going blind thing, Flash. Ugh. Oh, King. Me and my tribe fight for you always. That was fast. Fine. With the cavemen and the hawkmen, I'll conquer my kingdom. Flash Gordon leads his army of cavemen and hawkmen into the immense caves, which make up his kingdom after progressing for a long time without seeing a living thing or having any regard for personal hygiene. Flash decides to take Dale and go on a scouting expedition. At least, that's what they called it. An hour later, while walking through a cave of terrifying beauty, the two Americans are suddenly surprised by a band of lizardmen. They drop from all sides hurling stones. Not wanting to feel left out, a small squadron of platypusmen, an unholy union of water, rat, and duck, descend on our heroes as well. With their small, hairy, grayish balls and narrow, elongated beaks and robust legs, lacking wings, they still try to attack Flash, Dale, and their army. 
Flash is knocked out, and Dale Signal Gun shrieks its siren as she fires bolt after bolt at the charging lizard beasts. Back on the plane, Captain Thune and Zook, the red-headed giant man, leak on their own feet as the wailing of Dale's signal gun reaches their ears. But then, with the wet-footed, seemingly fearless Captain Thune at their head, the squad of Hawkmen then come to the rescue. Dale, Dale, what has happened to His Majesty? Lizard men. They were the only ones who successfully attacked us and knocked Flash out. I fought them all off, but they took Flash and creeped through that crevice. It's blocked with a huge stone. Men, swing that quick-firing gun into position. That's, uh... Not a quick-firing gun. Yes, it is! With haste, men! Flash's life hangs in the balance! Wait, no, that's a multifunctional garden hose, Captain. It's not, uh, Just I... do it! Uh, okay... Uh, okay, right. Uh, there! This way, Dale! Let us find His Majesty! Look! Blood! That means King Flash came this way. Lizard men don't bleed red. This passage seems more blocked up than your arteries, my fine fellow. Uh, thanks. We'll have to use the micro gun. I'll get to the hole. Here, I'll bend over and try to aim at it now. Can I turn off my hose now? Wait, let me squeeze through that opening. What? Oh, right. Sure. I'm game. Uh, Dale, can you see the end? Uh, no. Oh, not yet. If you could stand up and move over. Now? I I I'm stuck, but I can see light ahead. Dale? Oh, Flash, darling, you're alive. I think so. Yes. I'm so glad. You'll have to get the hammer. I can't budge this stone. Can you reach my signal gun? Yes, I got it. Thanks. Quiet. Here come the lizard men after us. In the meantime, in the castle of Azora, the witch queen of the blue magic men, namer of clouds and Rasputin impersonator, Sal, the chief magician, calls the Queen Azor's attention to something he sees in the magic LED TV glass. Yeah, look, oh queen. Rangers to my caves. Fighting with the lizard men, see? They have blown down the stone with their garden hose and have conquered their opponents. They are free. Where did you see that? What happened? Are we even looking at the same thing on the screen here? There, oh queen. Well, earlier, you missed it. I called you before, but you were in the Queen's room again. I had the beats. You know what they do to me. Oh, yes. Yes. Ugh. They are coming this way. What a handsome blonde leader, Sal. We must go welcome him. Give me a few hours. Do look natural. What's that sound? Why, the earth is trembling. The walls are shaking. The soldiers and the cavemen. They're buried under an avalanche of stones. Well, that weird light, what does it mean? Look in the midst of the lower flames. A woman! Okay, settle down, Flash. Wow. Greetings, strangers. Who are you? Bend the knee, oh strangers. You are face to face with the Zora, Queen of the Blue Magic Men, Namer of Clouds, and Rasputin Impersonator. Queen? That explains the beard. I'm King Flash. I bend my knees to no one, man or woman. So, make him bow to me, Sal. <laughs> the beats. Poison gas! Well... Oh, he's <coughs> strangling us. <laughs> ah, welcome to my world. She does this quite often in her sleep, too. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Dale. <sighs> Your smell is on them, oh queen. See? I am pointing. They stink to the ground unconscious from the sleep gas. That's one name for it. Yours is the power to bring them back. Sal, open a window. In the cave? Fool! I'm the foolish one. The fool, he thinks he can pitch his muscle against my sleep gas? How did you get that from what just happened? Have them carried to the gravity sled. We will return to the castle. Queen Azora of the blah, blah, blah. Here are the three strangers laid out before you, still in a deep slumber of revulsion, from which only you have the power to bring them back. What is your pleasure? 
Oh, he is so handsome, so big, turgid, and strong, even in sleep. Sal, use the pull motor. He doesn't look like he needs it at the moment. The pull motor might be too much. Put the pull motor on him now. Bring this one back to the fullness of life. There, his eyelids quiver also. A shudder runs through his body. The blonde youth is coming back to us. You, don't worry, Dale. I'm with you, I'm... Where am I? Oh, you! Yes. Are you so displeased with my appearance? Am I not beautiful to look upon? Dale! Take your breath. She cannot hear you. She cannot answer you. She is... Dead? Oh. Dale! You... You witch! You killed her! Yes. Yes, I killed her. You stand there and admit it. I just did. What? I just admitted it! I killed her as I killed you and your other companion, and I can bring her back as I brought you back to life from the bowels of Mongo. Then do it at once. You are young and full of life. It would be a pity to put such a fine person's manhood to death. What are you talking about? Uh, one of you must die. Who shall it be? You or the girl? You know there's only one answer to that. Fine. Kill the woman. No, that, that's not the answer. Oh, the brave youth wishes to make the supreme sacrifice. You keep calling me youth. Have you had work done or something? I mean, is that makeup? Because you look my age. Very noble, but very foolish. I've changed my mind. You shall live. For me. And Dale? What will happen to her? If you promise to obey me forever, I will bring her back to life to torture you with the lost possibilities. Then, I agree to your terms. Shall we seal our bargain with a drink and hot sex? Very well. Here it is, O oh Queen. What? Dear, what is? What could I possibly need right now that you come in here and stand over us naked? I'm not naked. We are naked. Flash. Me. What is that? This is the cup for the drink. Oh, I forgot about the drink. Yes. Thank you. And now, you are truly mine forever. <coughs> you drugged me after we did it? And now you are truly mine forever. I can't, just can't remember. I, where am I? Who are you? Did the Knicks win the championship yet? And who am I? Uh, do not worry, my soldier prince. I am your queen. Queer. I can't remember who I am. I had something. I, I had something to do. I, I had to save somebody. Sit back and relax. Yeah, I must have been struck in the head during a battle. Forgive me for being so foggy. Oh, you are forgiven, my prince. Come with me. I thought I just did. I can't remember. I, my mind is a blanket. Is blanket the right word? I don't know anymore. To blonde is to Oh, oh, oh. You mean you have forgotten even how to speak? Everything. Sal, you idiot! How much did you put in this vine? Oh, I was distracted by your love play, my queen. I have forgotten how to speak. Even don't know how to bring up our love. I, all I know is that you're the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen and had, given I can't remember the past five minutes ago. Ah, uh, and that is what I have been waiting to hear you say. Listen, my handsome prince, I wish to test you. Look at these two lifeless, blood-soaked figures suspended there 
soiling themselves as rigor sets in. Do you know them? The lion man and the girl? Beautiful girl, too. Blonde, voluptuous, limp, soiling herself. Young. Enough! Oh, sure. Yeah. Do you know them? I never saw them before in my life. Could I recognize them? Have, have I met them? One more test, Sal. The pool motor. Bring that man back to life. My queen, I never thought I'd see someone stimulate a cadaver that way. Can you wipe my mind again? Now? He is coming back, oh queen. Stand back. <sighs> yeah, your, your majesty. Where is Dale? Dale? Your majesty? What are you talking about? You must be ill, your majesty. Don't you know me? Foon of the Lion Men. Azura, what is this man raving about? He's a war prisoner of ours. Crazy from the wounds and the pole motor. Oh, then I quite understand. I forgive him. I am glad you are so loyal to me. I always will be, my beautiful queen. Flash, Flash, listen to me. Quiet, lie back, you. You, I warn you, it will take a thousand times for that pull machine of yours and all your magic men to keep me in chains. I think not. Gods, magic men, bind him on all fours with the electric manacle. No! Silence, dog. I warn you, if you disobey, these manacles will become red hot and steal you to the bone. Uh, uh, um, what? And now for the girl. Hmm, attachments too. <laughs> it's good to be queen. Yes. What? Nothing. My... Oh, Flash. Where are you? You shall see him. Get up, come this way. Oh, again? Where am I? You are in the palace of Azora, queen of the magic men, etc., etc. When I draw these curtains, you shall see your lover in the arms of his queen, Azora. Oh! Flash! Lots of it, how could you? Listen, your kingdom is very beautiful, my darling. I th think I would enjoy the sight of food on you more. <laughs> I'm starved. Oh, forgive me, my prince. I was so interested in showing the beauty of my palace that I'd forgotten about food. I've never heard of that referred to as a palace before, my queen. I must have forgotten so many words. Come, in the dining room. We have everywhere else. Oh, Flash! It's so hard to see you do everything you used to do with me! Oh, talk! Some food! You're not... You're not gonna make the sandwich yourself? Oh, strange girl, come with me! Never! I am Flash's forever! No, I mean to the kitchen. You shall serve them sandwiches. No! Sal takes Dale to the kitchen of the evil witch queen's palace where she joins Captain Thune, who is forced to be a sommelier and then prep chef, helping prepare the food. Oh, Dale, I feared for the worst. I even demanded that they test that pull motor on me every half hour to make sure it was in great shape to wake you up. Uh, you're safe? Yes. Well, thank you, Captain Thune. I'm glad to find you safe. Drained looking as well, but but Flash. Yes. But what has caused Flash to behave so? Maybe she's just amazing at uh, doing things. No, 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 it can't be. I don't know. She does have a certain look about her, a certain confident, sexy manner, the long hair, curving body, the well-appointed makeup, the smell, the no, stop. swelling of I her. I can't contemplate it. Oh, what is it about her? Yes, uh, certainly it is a mystery, um, uh, to all of us, uh, nothing to do with her sensual manner. Yes, her... I do not know what it could be. Flash seems to be under some kind of spell, poor devil. Lucky, doomed compatriot. The way, even just walking, she undulates. This queen is indeed a witch. <laughs> mm. What are you doing? I'm preparing the salad dressing in salad shooter. 
Put that down. This is a kitchen, you fool. Get to work. No, I won't. I won't do anything for her. You dare to rebel? Then take this magic magnetic whip I took from Queen Azora. Give me that whip or I'll break your neck. Ugh. Surrender, Thune, please. For your sake, Dale. Uh, well, I, uh, I surrender. I, I will obey. Oh, yes. I mean, oh, stop. I obey. Why are you whipping me too, Dale? I, uh, sorry. Good. Obey. Now, girls, take this plate of food into the queen. Her new pudding is also ready to be received with her new prince. I will help you with the tray, Dale. One taste of my essence that I've now put all over the food and all of her magic mode savor. There, my essence replaced the mayo before he caught me. Now, then, you can carry it. Yes, I shall. I am, in fact, taking it in now. Ah, here comes the food. There's my prince. See, miss? Oh, Flash. You clumsy fool. Scrape up the food and give it to us. Don't you love me anymore, Flash? Love you? I don't even know you, girl. Could you show me something that might spring my memory? I will teach this unruly and clumsy servant girl obedience. Guard, give her the bit! Hmm. I still don't remember. Try the buttocks. What will happen to Dale Arden? Her clothes torn and skin reddened by the whip held in the clutches of the cruel Witch Queen Azora. See for yourself in full color pictures the terrifying situation that faces our friends in tomorrow's newspaper. Friends, when you married your husband, you expected him to be as natural law created him without the new problems that a world wall create for you in your marriage. To answer these and other personal problems brought in by your spouse, Friends and Neighbors Reeks presents Marvin J. Anthony, founder of the famed Marital Relations Institute and his brand new program. Daily sessions of kindly and unhelpful advice. Just as Mr. Anthony brings examples to this studio helping thousands of men and women solve their personal problems. Reeks, too, is helping thousands to solve the important personal problem of underarm perspiration. Reeks helps you avoid perspiration damage to clothes and safeguard friendships. Reeks every day helps out perspiration safety and at the same time answers some of the existential problems that plague your marriage. Reeks every day is the most effective deodorant with our patented aluminum-based deodorant. You will find these pictures in next Sunday's magazine under your father's bed, which is distributed in the health section of your Sunday newspaper. And besides Flash Gordon, you will find all the other fake female friends waiting to entertain you. And the comic strips, bringing up father, the little inappropriate Barney Google, good old Skippy the Van Dweller on parole, Polly and her overly friendly pals, Captain Jammer's kids tips and Casper's secret island outhouse, Wet Willy the Toilet, Mickey Mouse, and many others. Be sure you get the big, full-colored comic spread weekly with your magazines next Sunday. And don't forget our date next week at this same time for another chapter in Reasonably Amazing Interplanetary Adventures of Flash Gordon. Our cast was Pete Handelman, Pete Lutz, Rhiannon McAfee, Gino C. Vianelli, Curtis Bedford, Tom Conkle, and Stephanie Stearns Dooley. Directed by Tom Conkle. Sound mix and effects by Tom Conkle. Adapted from the original source material by Tom Conkle. Music by Brian Errata.